it she came here love you said the farm lady and you are welcome back to another amazing interesting and educative video yes so we're going to be doing a little bit of water chemistry analysis basically there are some parameters that you can check yourself without having going to the lab okay you can check your ph you can check the total dissolved solids in your water you can check the temperature of your water you can also check the conductivity of your water so today we are going to be checking all from the ph total dissolved solids in your water conductivity and then the temperature so with me here i'm trying as much as possible not to make this video too long and basically going straight to the point so with me here i have my ph meter this is a ph meter so it comes in a pack like this this one only measures the ph okay there are some that comes with a thermometer but this one is just to measure the ph so it comes in a pack like this and it has the on and off button here so you basically what just press it on and then you can switch it off as well yes and then i have my tds meter and conductivity meter all right so it comes in a cute little fancy pump like this you open it like so and then you bring it out yes so this is what it looks like all right as you can see it the tds and conductivity meter so basically this is to measure the total dissolved solids in your water it also has a button to turn it on here this is the button so it turns on like so and then you have um, other buttons there so the first one is ppm if you can see the screen i don't know if you can see it yeah, the first one with ppm is basically to measure the tds all right then if you want to measure your conductivity you have to press the middle button it has a shift written on it so you press that and then it takes you to what measuring what the conductivity of your water as you can see all right so that is it basically i'm going to put this off now and then we we'll proceed to testing our water all right yes so here i have um, i have my beaker i have a beaker here let me show you yes a beaker of water here so here i have a beaker of water so i'm basically going to be checking the pH of this water first that's the first thing I'm going to be checking sorry my space is a little bit messy all right so we're going to be checking the pH first so here is my pH meter like I said you open it like so there is a mark here this is the point at which you should immerse your pH meter it shouldn't be above this point else you're going to damage it so let's check the ph of this water so you turn it on all right after putting it on you immerse it in your water and then it starts reading i believe you can see it so basically it's reading it's reading like so yes so it keeps on reading till you you know basically get to a, a a a point where it's 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 okay and then it becomes stagnant it stops moving okay so basically the ideal ph for fish farming should be 6.5 to 8.5 if you are getting something lesser than 6.5 then your water is what your water is acidic yes you can't use that water and then if it's above that point above 8.5 then your water is what alkaline very alkaline so basically if it's acidic you can buffer it using a buffer solution like sodium carbonate i have a video on that already and then 
that's just it basically so the ph of your water is something you can check on your fan as you can see it is still reading if i'm right so basically what we are getting here already is 6.4 in fact this is 6.3 6.32 okay so this is to, to tell us that this ph is quite low and it's still reading meaning it's still going to go lesser than that okay so basically we are going to what need to what buffer this water if we are going to use it in our hatchery for production okay so we are going to need to what buffer it using sodium carbonate or soda ash so that is that for the ph now when you take it out of the water you have to watch dry up the electrode like so so you don't damage it after drying it up then you can turn it off okay so it's off and then you close it and return it back into the container or the pack now let's move on to measuring our total dissolved solid so this is a tds meter as you can see here it is all right this is your tds meter and conductivity meter so i'm going to turn it on and then we're going to check the total dissolved solid in this water so let's move and also this is the point at which you should stop immersing if not you're going to die wow as you can see what we are getting here is what 20 ppm that is parts per million and basically for the total dissolved solid your total dissolved solid for fish farming should be nothing higher than 200 so if you get 200 and below 200 you are good to go you are good to go you are good to go but if it is higher than that then there is a what a problem we have to find a way to what remove every um organic solids in the water basically because tds basically is is used to describe the inorganic salts and the amount of organic matter present in your water so basically we need to what find the way to what remove all that or reduce it to the barest minimum so 200 and below 200 is good above 200 is not fit for your fishes or for fish farming okay so that is that and as you can see below it we can see the temperature now the temperature there is perfect we are having 28.3 28.3 degrees can you see it 28.3 degrees so this is perfect we can use this for uh, hatching or for fish farming now if you want to check the conductivity of your water you just simply need to press one button which is the center button here it's a shift button which will take you to the conductivity part so basically clicking on it once okay now the conductivity of this water is what 41 that is amazingly perfect as well now the ideal conductivity should be nothing higher than 1000 so 1000 and below is what a perfect conductivity that you should what have for your water so this is reading 41 that means we are good to go basically all we just need to do for this water is what buffer what the ph of the water so conductivity wise we are good to go and conductivity basically is an indirect measure of the saltiness of your water so it's basically measuring what is indirectly measuring how salty your water is now we all know catfish tilapia they are all freshwater fishes and then they cannot really try they can't even try in a water that is salty a water like the water in the sea or the ocean now nah, it's no good so when the conductivity is reading 1000 and above it means the salt in that water is quite high and then you cannot what, use it for what fish production so basically you just have to find a way to get a better water or find a way to what, remove the salty um, substance in, in your water 
So conductivity is what basically measuring indirectly the saltiness is your water very saline. If it is very saline, then you're going to be getting something above what 1000. But with what we are getting now, we are good to go. Okay, so I just basically wanted to show you guys this how you can, you know get this whole measurement done etc etc so for those who are always wondering oh i need to go to the lab all the time well you do not need to go to the lab all the time if you have this meter you have your ph meter you have your tds meter you have your um conductivity meter like the ones i just showed you and you are good to go at least you can measure somewhat parameters in your heart rate all right and after taking it out also ensure you what dry it out you dry it out and then you turn it what you turn it off okay you turn it off it has a cap you cover it and then put it back in it what little cute what bag all right so you put it back in it's a little cute bag so basically for those who are always going to the lab for i want to check my ph i take my water to the lab you don't need that okay so if you need these materials it's available you can get it just basically send me a message on whatsapp and then it will be shipped down to your location here in nigeria so that's that if you really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you drop a comment below i'll see you guys next week and when your favorite fish girl the farm lady she came here and see and it's bye for now <laughs>